Good evening, you two. Full Circle Review back here again with another review. As for spring, Aldi's Finds has like a new wider range of options available. So, going down the aisles, I was looking at what they had brought in for the spring. <clears throat> anyway, they brought in so many different types of cookies, it's ridiculous. Anyway, I couldn't buy every single one, but I bought like some from each category. Like, I, I did the Benton Melts review. I was able to buy all of those. But they had so many come out that I kind of just picked and chose. And I feel like I'm going to be able to judge fairly well from this. Anyway, I have Deutsche Kirche Authentic German Food Coconut Spritz Shortbread Cookies. I'm going to start with these. I have three total. Serving size is two cookies at 280 calories, 18 grams of fat, 26 grams of carbs, and 3 grams of protein. Vanilla unsweetened almond milk, and I'm pouring the coffee now. Coffee. Now I'm going to put some half and half in my coffee. Let's see. Might as well have a little bit, little bit lighter today. Half that will just mix itself up magically. Needs more half and half. Perfect. Okay. Coconut spritz. Shortbread cookies, so I'm hoping these have a good vanilla taste to them. Oh, they're dipped in chocolate. Look at that, they're, those are beautiful. They're big cookies and hefty. Smell of coconut, dipped in chocolate. Let's try and get into this. Is there vanilla in this? No, there's no vanilla, which is interesting for a shortbread. Let's see how it does in coffee. The coffee, I mean the chocolate on it, is very light, very smooth. Melts if you look at it. Then the milk. Mmm. This is a coffee cookie. Mm. Outstanding coconut flavor. I wish the coconut was a little toasted so you get a little bit more of that coconut mouthfeel. These are good. These are dangerous. I could see me eating the entire box of these. Um, those are going to get a 91 out of 100. They could improve by adding vanilla. I just feel like it would be an extra level of flavor for the cookie to offer. The uh, chocolate's on point, but it should be a little bit darker, I feel like, to go pairing with coconut better. And then they could toast the coconut. Other than that, it's the perfect coffee cookie. Now we're going to move on to Jaffa Cakes. Raspberry Jaffa Cakes from Deutsche Churche Authentic German Food Sponge Cake. Cookies with raspberry fruit filling, half coated with dark chocolate. Serving size is two pieces at 25 grams, 100 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, 18 grams of carbs, and less than one gram of protein. Utz Certified Koa. There's two sleeves. There they are. I just wish Jaffa Cakes used a crispy cookie. I understand why they use the sponge cookies because they put jelly in there. The jelly is going to make a, a crispy cookie soggy and chewy and that's going to be nasty. Spongy cookie, they get by. Mm. Soft cookie. Good amount of filling. It goes in the coffee. Mmm. Coffee really uh, pronounces the raspberry.
Again, no vanilla. Hmm. This is good in milk and coffee. If you want to really taste the chocolate, have it in uh, coffee. If you really want to taste the um, the um, raspberry, have it in milk. That's nice. It's a soft cookie. Easy to chew. I'm going to give that an 87 out of 100. They can improve by making the uh, cookie itself taste like something. It literally just tastes like sponge. It's nothing. The chocolate's good. It could use some salt. And the raspberry jam is really nice. The raspberry jam is what really sets this off. It's a good, natural raspberry taste. It doesn't taste artificial. Very smooth. It's just, this seems like it's lacking something. It needs a crispiness, vanilla note, salt, something crunchy. Just something to counteract all the softness. I can see myself buying those again. Last one. Ducha Kucha. Dopleno Hazelnut Sandwich Biscuits Crispy Hazelnut Cookies Filled with Artificial Vanilla Flavor Cream. Serving size is 4 cookies at 160 calories, 9 grams of fat, 19 grams of carbs, and 2 grams of protein. Of course, all these were bought at Aldi's. All these are Aldi brands. You get two, well, four sleeves like this. That's a lot of cookies. That's 64 cookies. But they're little. Itty bitty. Smell like a vanilla cookie? I want to see what the cream tastes like. Well, at least I can taste the wafer. I'm not getting any hazelnut. I'm getting just vanilla. I'm disappointed. I was really looking forward to those because I love hazelnut. I mean, you get a little, little hint, like hazelnut extract hint, extract hint in the cookie, but it's mainly just vanilla. So if you like a vanilla cookie, this would be a really good option. The cream itself doesn't have any bad artificial taste to it. It actually tastes pretty natural, nice. It's a good cookie, it's just it's not hazelnut, so it's not what they're advertising. I'm going to have to give that a 69 out of 100, which is nice, but it could be better. If this was supposed to be a vanilla cookie, nail on the head, but it's not. It's supposed to be hazelnut, so I'm disappointed. I will not buy those again. Out of all these, this is my favorite. They had this in um, shortbread with fudge stripes, which is just this without the coconut, so... And then I think they had one of these in, um, I don't know, double chocolate maybe? It was good. Anyway, if you like cookies, go to Aldi's. Because it's spring, they're bringing out, they're, I mean, they're just rolling them out. Rolling them out. It is ridiculous. Actually, you know what? We got a fourth one. Benton's Fudge Dipped Spring Vanilla Wafers. Light and crispy wafer cookies enrobed in milk fudge and sweet pa pastel drizzle. Serving size of three cookies at 170 calories, 8 grams of fat, 23 grams of carbs, and 2 grams of protein. I forgot I had these. I'm hoping for a vanilla wafer dipped in fudge. Oh, these are pretty. You put these on a plate, be great for Easter. Oh, 
so flipping crispy. Whoa. You bite into it, the fudge melts on your tongue, but then you get smacked with a strong vanilla wafer. That's amazing. It's literally a vanilla wafer coated in really sweet fudge. Only complaint is the fudge is too sweet. Mm. 94 out of 100. If you like vanilla wafers, get these. If you like fudge, you get these. The fudge is too sweet. It needs more cocoa to butter. Ratio. Vanilla wafers on point. Crispy, smooth, creamy. It just needs to have a darker chocolate. Only complaint. Vanilla is amazing. But overall, I'm very satisfied with all these cookie selections. I'm a little disappointed in the hazelnut cookies. I, they should have just been vanilla. But uh, I'll definitely be going back. If you like these Aldi review videos, please comment down below. I'll go back to Aldi's and I'll buy everything they sell. I'm serious. I think about just doing an Aldi's beer series. But uh, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below what I need to do next, and y'all take care.